Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezzle! No way! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. Why you? So hold on. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepard is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, Shepard. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! So what do we do then? Do we have to actually fight her and kill her? Or what? I don't see what else we have to do here. Hold it, Soleil. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? Gotcha! Standing down! Dezo, what's the plan? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dezo! Don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Sorry. Hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel! No! Don't mess this up! Then this is it! While we're not ties, press L1! I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. 
But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give him a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. No. This can't be happening. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Does this mean that? Yeah. Is Dezel pulling an Aerith? Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? LIES! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. I know how you feel. So Dezil is gone now? He's actually... dead? You've gotta be seriously kidding. Unless it's one of those temporary things, in which case he'll come back later, but... After what happened, I highly doubt it, so... Who knows? But dang it! And when he was, be and when he was becoming my favorite Seraph, too. Even better than Edna. Which is saying something. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, 
that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation, so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Words of wisdom, ladies and gentlemen. I have nothing else to say. What stars up here? Out of curiosity. It's getting late. Maybe we should rest up. Let's explore the city a little longer. So that's basically saying, hey, regress the story. You're gonna need to. But yeah, that's gonna be hard to come back after that session. It really is. But what else is there we can do before, you know, we end things off here? Because, yes, we're past the two hour mark, but I want to see if there's anything else we can do. Just anything at all. Out of the next floor. That's where the star is. Is that perhaps Rose? There's Edna. Oh, and how convenient one of these guys. Geyser. Lodge you to my new weapon. There. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Next up, Edna. Our friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either! So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Number three on the list? Ah, it's Lila! Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Paper mache! Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. Alright then, thumbs away!
And it actually flies through the night wind. I'm sure it reached him. Cross your fingers. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. Alright then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. And that's almost it. Every, everything is? There's only two more stars left, and that one takes us... Or it basically says, hey, I said the end, it's all over. But there's also one directly at the end, which I'm guessing says the exact same thing. Unless I'm mistaken. I guess we'll find out right now. It's getting late. Maybe we should rest up? Or let's explore the city a little longer. Alright. I think this is a perfect place to end things off here, guys. So, I guess we'll have to grieve with Dazelle's death next time. It really is a sad thing, though. You know, I, I'm... Well, I don't know, actually. Because most of the time when it comes to people dying in video games, usually they can be brought back to life. I mean, heck, the first Tales of Zillia is proof of that. For anyone that's played that game. So, is there a possibility? I hope so, because I want Dizel back. He's an awesome character. If not, then this game really had to pull an Aerith on us, just getting rid of her entirely for the rest of the game. That's really sucky. But I, either way, guys, that's going to do it for another session of Tales of Zestiria. Next time, well, who knows what happens. Hopefully we can avenge Dizel. Maybe find ourselves a new Wind Seraph. Who knows? But either way, Guys, thank, thank you so much for watching this session of Tales of Zestiria. If you guys did enjoy, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below to show your support for the series. And of course, if you are new here to the series and want to see more Zestiria as it comes out daily, even the sad parts, along with any other games I decide to throw into the mixer as a result, don't forget to hit that big old red subscribe button and join the Dread Knights in the Shepherd to... Purify the malevolence and avenge an old friend. And until next time, this is Flying Dread Force signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with some more Tales of Zestiria.